In this video, I want to show you the capital market line. So let's say we have an investor who's going to invest in a portfolio that includes two stocks. We've got stock A and stock B. So this investor can invest in any different number of combinations. They could put 90% of the portfolio in stock A and then 10% in stock B. They could do 80-20. They could do 10-90. They can do any number of combinations. And so we can go and say, all right, let's look at this 90-10 combination and let's plot the volatility of that portfolio in the expected return. And so we can plot different points. We can plot different points and then we can draw a graph. We can graph those points. And this is showing the different volatility and expected returns for different weights of this portfolio. We could have more than two stocks, but I'm just going to keep it with two stocks just to make it simple. So we've got A and B. So any point here, all these different points are different combination, different weights of stock A and stock B in this portfolio. And we say, okay, at this weight, so let's say this is 10, 90, 10% in stock A, or is stock A, 90% in stock B. So right here we say that the portfolio has volatility of 15% and then a ret expected return of 5%. And so all of the ones on this yellow part here, these are inefficient portfolios. So these are inefficient. And when I say inefficient, I mean that we could find a different portfolio. So let's say we're talking about right here. We could find a different portfolio that has a higher return, yet does not have higher risk. It has the same volatility, but a higher expected return. So obviously, then we would say we don't want this portfolio because we can get a higher expected return without any taking on any more risk. So all these ones that are yellow are inefficient. And then all the ones that are purple on the purple line here, so here, 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 these are all efficient portfolios. Now, here's where the capital market line comes into play. We can go and we can say, okay, we've just been thinking about a portfolio that would have stock A and stock B in different combinations. But what if we added to that we said we could actually also have uh, some combination of the risk-free asset. So we could say, all right, we want a certain amount in stock A, a certain amount in stock B, and then we want a certain amount invested in the risk-free asset. Let's say uh, one month treasury bills or something like that. So then we could go, we could go and we could actually put, here, let me change color. So we're gonna put right here, let's say that the risk-free rate of return is 4%, hypothetically. So this is the risk-free rate of return, that's 4%. So now, from that risk-free rate of return, we could draw a line. So we could draw a line from that, let's see, right here. We'll draw a line just such that it's tangent. See, I'm drawing this line just such that it barely touches this line here. Okay, just uh, just barely touches. And by the way, this purple part, that's called the efficient frontier. So the part where this line touches the efficient frontier. So th let me let me color that in a different color. We'll say right here. This is the this is the tangent portfolio. Okay, where this line touches. And so this line, this white line is called the capital market line when we have a situation where so so basically this tangent portfolio, if the if all the assumptions of the capital asset pricing model CAPM, we, we talked about that in another video. Uh, so if all the assumptions of CAPM hold, then this tangent portfolio is the market portfolio. Okay. And it's all so so there's gonna be a lot of information here. So let me let me put that. So that's the tangent portfolio. When I say tangent, it's the portfolio just where it touches that white line, which is the capital market line. Okay, and so the tangent portfolio, if, if the assumptions of CAPM hold, that is also going to be the market portfolio. And final wrinkle, this is going to be, so, so by the way, this white line, the capital market line, that has all the different combinations we could have. So th this is different weightings of stock A, stock B, and the risk-free asset. So that's why it's different than this curve. The curve is just different combinations of stock A and stock B. The, the white line, we also add in the risk-free asset. Okay, so it's the, the tangent portfolio here, it's the market portfolio, and it's also right here, that, that portfolio is the one with the highest sharp ratio. Okay, and we haven't, I'm gonna make it in our video where we talk about the sharp ratio specifically, but basically it's, we're thinking about the excess portfolio return divided by the volatility. 
So we could think about it as reward to volatility. Okay, and remember volatility is a total risk. Okay, that's the standard deviation of, of the stock returns. So in terms of the re reward to volatility, the highest reward per unit of volatility, the best, the most bang for your buck in terms of we're taking on a certain amount of risk and how do we get the highest reward? If we're thinking of ranking portfolios, the one with the highest sharp ratio, the one that gets the highest reward given the volatility, right? The highest reward to volatility, portf excess portfolio return divided by the volatility, that is going to be the tangent portfolio, the market portfolio.